Before you open up the case, make sure it is right side up so when you open up the case, everything doesn't fall out. Inside the case, you are going to find the saxophone, the neck, the mouthpiece, the neck strap, and the reeds. The first thing we're going to do is take out the reed. It looks like a piece of wood because it's a piece of wood. First you're going to take the reed out of the reed holder. Then you're going to take this little piece of wood and you're going to put it in your mouth. Yes, and you're going to soak it with your saliva so it could resonate. Now we're going to take out the neck strap. It looks like a thing that goes on your neck. You're going to take the neck strap and put it around your neck. And then you're going to pull up the adjustment so it's to your comfortableness. Now we're taking out the saxophone. <laughs> Make sure when you pick up the saxophone from its case, you pick it up with care. You don't want to bend any of the keys. There's a hook at the end of the neck strap with a clip and there's a little gold loop on the back of the saxophone. Make sure you take the clip and clip it right onto the loop of the saxophone so the saxophone doesn't fall. Now you're going to take the cap off the top of the saxophone so you can put the neck on. Nice! Now we're going to take out the neck. Like a golden banana, oh my god. Now, you take the big end of the neck and slide it into the top of the saxophone. You see me struggling? I messed up. You have to make sure that the screws at the top are loose so you could get the neck in. Those screws are there so you could loosen it to put in the neck and then tighten it once you put the neck in so it doesn't move around. So once you get the neck in, don't forget to fasten the screw. Now we're taking out the mouthpiece. And I'm struggling. And it's dirty, I'm sorry. You're going to place the mouthpiece at the end of the neck with the cork. It should go on easy. If it doesn't, that means you need to add cork grease. Now for the final step, we're going to take out that reed and put it on in the mouthpiece. To put it on, make sure you slide off the ligature so you could slide in the reed with ease. You want to be careful because this reed is really delicate. You want to adjust it carefully. Try not to put your fingers on the tip of the reed or else you could chip it. And they're expensive, so you don't want to do that. Once you adjust it, you want to tighten the screw on the ligature so the reed stays in place. Now you're free to jam out like Kenny G. Just kidding. Kenny G sucks. Don't do that. Jam out like John Coltrane or Charlie Parker or anyone else besides Kenny G.